Hey there, Mr. Leon Kalma here, the best mass tutor. So in this video, I want us to revise the 2020 paper one and we'll be looking at the axis of symmetry. This was a complicated question. Most of us that were vigilating the exam were shocked like, what is this? But let's do some revision and uh, I know you'll get something, yeah? So come with me. So look, we're looking at the axis of symmetry. It's the new syllabus topic. So let's look at the question, 2020. The diagram below is the graph of y is equals to negative 4 in brackets x minus 1 over 2 to the power 2 plus 9. You see that? So this is the equation, something new. And uh, this is the diagram they gave us. You know, you have seen your curve and you, uh, you have your equation here. We have a, c, b. Yeah. So the first question they said, find the co find the a x coordinates of a and b so they want us to know they want them they want, they want us to give them the x coordinates of a and b okay so the solution is this what we are going to have so solution follow me please so we write our equation first y is equals to negative 4 we have x minus 1 over 2 to the power 2 plus 9 so before we go any further, we have to break this bracket first. So what this means is this. You are going to have x minus 1 over 2, then x minus 1 over 2. We need to break this, right? Because it's to the power 2. So this x is going to multiply both x and half. So you are going to say x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 1 over 2 is negative 1 over 2x you see that so this x multiplies both uh, variables we move on now this negative half has to multiply both so negative half times x is negative half x negative half times negative half is positive 1 over 4 because 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 so we proceed here we go further so we have x squared and then we have negative 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2, same signs you add, so to be, this will give us 2x, because this is negative x minus negative x, 2x over 2, then you have 1 over 4. We can cancel this, right? So this will cancel that. So we have x squared minus x plus 1 over 4. So we have broken this into that, right? So what we need to do now is what? We bring in our negative 4 and our 9. But in bra we'll put this in brackets. So we'll have x squared minus x plus 1 over 4. We have our plus 9 here. Now negative 4. Let's start with the negative 4. The negative 4 has to break. So negative 4 times x, negative 4 x squared. Negative 4 times negative x is plus plus what? 4x. So you pay attention to signs. Then we have negative 4 times positive 1 over 4 is uh, negative 4 over 4. Uh -huh. Brackets plus 9. You can simplify this, right? So we have negative 4x squared plus 4x. 4 into 4 is minus 1 plus 9. So we're not done. We need to find this. So we have negative 4x squared plus 4x, this is plus 8. So yeah, you haven't even started. Right now you have just broken this, you have simplified this. So what this means now is this, we are going to get this, as you know the axis of symmetry I've taught you is that it's all about factorization. We are going to factorize this. So this will be negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 8. Yeah? So that's what we have, that's what we have. So we have to find the product sum. So you know that product sum factor. So how do we find the product? We multiply negative 4 times positive 8, negative 32. The sum here is what? 4. Now we look for the factors. We have to find two factors. When we multiply them, they must give us negative 32. When we add or subtract, they must give us what? Uh, 4. What are those factors? What are those factors? We have 8, 4. Now, it's a negative. We have a negative. So it means 
This means one of them has to be a negative. The question is which one? You are going to look at your sum. So your sum is positive. Yeah? So meaning the smaller number will be negative. Because we always get the sign from the what? The bigger number. So 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. 8 minus 4 is 4. So you have to be good with signs, as I said. So here we are going to replace our, so we have negative 4x. We replace this uh, 4x with our factors. So minus 4x plus, this is plus, 8x plus 8. Yeah, so we factorize. What's common here is negative 4. <clears throat> negative 4x. So negative 4x into negative 4x squared is x. Negative 4x into negative 4x is plus 1. Signs, eh? This is that is just about signs. So this shall records. <clears throat> What's common here is 8. So we have x, 8 into 8 plus 1. You know what this means? We group, so we have x. Plus one. As long as they are the same, it means we are correct. We group. Then we have negative four x plus eight. We want to find the variables. It was a long question, yeah. We're not even done. We want to find the variables of a and b. So you are going to equate to what zero. So you are going to have x plus one is equals to zero, or negative four x plus eight is equals to zero. So x is equals to positive 1 goes the other side, minus 1. Or negative 4x is equals to, this positive 8 goes this side, negative 8. So we have we have found our x. Here we have to find our x over negative 4 over negative 4. We cancel. So therefore, x is equals to, we have positive what? 2. So now, we have said, find the coordinates of a and B. So this is at your negative side. The negative. So your A here is A is negative 1. And your B is at your what? Positive. And B is what? B is 2. Yeah. So that's how you solve it. Look at it. Look at it. Pay attention. And I would like you to do the same question. Yeah. Alright. Let's look at uh, finding the coordinates of C. So now we want to look at question two. Yeah? So the question says, find the coordinates of C. This is C. So the first coordinate of C, you can see that the X is what is zero, because C, the X is what is zero. The question is, what is this point here? The highest point, this is known as your maximum. What is it? What is this point? So this is the formula. So X is equals to negative B over two A. Once we find our X, we are going to replace it into this, this equation. This equation is, this has been broken down into this. You know, the original, you saw how I broke it down, is this one. So this is what we have. I'm going to say x is equals to negative, and what is our b? It's 4. Yeah? You know, 2. What is our a? Negative 4. You know how to pick point. So negative in times 4, negative 4. 2 times negative 4, negative 8. So if x is equals to negative, negative, 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8 is 2. So we have found our x. We need to find our y. So because I've said find the coordinates. So it means x and y. So we have our x, we already know that is what? Our 0 here. So now we need to find, uh, we need to find the highest point here, the highest point. Because this, this point was pointing there. Like C, you see the axis was there already. It was at zero. Now the question that we need is what is the C? That's why we found this. The axis of symmetry. Oh. So what we do now, we replace this half into the equation here that we broke down. So I'm going to say y is equals to negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 8. So y is equals to negative 4. What is our x? Half squared plus 4. Half plus 8. So y is equals to, we break this down. So negative 4. 1 squared is 1. Uh, 2 to the power 2 is 4. So you pay attention to how I'm breaking. 4 times 1 is 4. Yeah. 
two. So this four just multiplies the one on top. It doesn't multiply both. Then we have plus eight. So here we have we cancel four, cancel four. You have negative one. Negative one times one is negative one plus two into four, two plus eight. So we have y is equals to we have negative one plus two. What is negative one plus two is one plus eight. You get the sign from the bigger number. So y is equals to nine. So you just say therefore coordinates of C are you right? What is our x? I've said this C is pointing at zero. So here, so C is zero, comma, and our y we found is nine. I found is nine. Yeah, so look at it, look at it. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Would you believe that they brought such a question for students rewriting? It's crazy, it's crazy. But with practice, I know you are going to get there. So make sure that you practice. If you would like, do the same question. I'll send you similar questions to what we have done. Even just how we can break such brackets. Yeah, very important to come with answers, at least four or five of them. Yeah. So all the best. Keep solving. We are together. We are getting a distinction. Yeah. Thank you for buying the video. Bye-bye.